Atlas Jiu-Jitsu presents the Technique of the Week with Julio Foca Fernandez and Edward Anthony. Butterfly part here, I want to have a flexibility. These are kind of a sit on floor here, like I'm going to the beach and sit and look at the waves, see? What I'm going to try to do here now with the flexibility that I have, step outside his body, right? See, when I step outside, I pull him forward, see? To take his back. But this time, you know, a good wrestler or a guy doesn't want to give me the back, he puts a wizard on me. See, the leg that was inside, gonna hook his leg, right inside his leg. See, now his leg is trapped. He basically in the same position as here. He's on the floor, hands on the floor. But I have a control on his belt, and I'm controlling his hand between our bodies. See, this is the moment, the moment that I'm gonna rotate inside his body, reverse him, and go to the top. Here I am, in a side control. And now it's time for Ask Julio. So uh, Polly Guerra, had, uh, I thought it was a pretty good question. She wanted to know, do you act or react to an opponent? Well, you know, there's a kind of, all depends on the situation. Are you training in a school, spar with, uh, with a partner, uh, lower rank, uh, or are you competing, you know? Um, if you go to compete, I would say that you have to have your own strategy, you know? Uh, if you're a guy to like to top, well, you gotta work really hard to take the guy down. If you are a bottom guy, well, you're gonna try to get the guy that is inside your guard, or you can uh, bring him to, to your game. You know, uh, being acting or reacting to an opponent depends on the situation, depends on what, what, you, what is your goal from the training. Usually, when I work at the lower ranks in my school, kind of, I teach a lot of people here. You know, I try to let the guy move around. And then I try to react to their, their game. You know, if the leg is up, I do this. If the leg is down, I do that. If the guy gives me a chance to go to the back. You know, I'm reacting to them because I, I want them moving and improving, you know. Uh, but if I go to a competition and, uh, you know, I like to be on top. That's my, my game. You know, I'm really going to try to get the guy on his back. I'm going to try to get a takedown. You know, and that's, that's, some, that's what I try to do. If I am competing, I am aggressive. You know, I, I'm, I'm an attacker. I'm not going to jump guard at anybody, you know. But if I'm training in school, uh, partnership, you know, it's like, a, you know, you learn from each other. Uh, and uh, you're teaching a guy. It, you have to have uh, some uh, different kind of training. And I basically am reacting because I'm letting the guy do the moves too, you know. A partnership only, uh, only uh, gets bigger when both partners have a good time. You know, you can't get a guy lower rank and uh, hold a guy and uh, he doesn't go anywhere. That's not, not good. Well, that means I kind of let him move around and I have a reaction that he has his reaction and then, you know, we play like a game that everybody going to profit from that. You know, that's, that'll be my, my answer to that question. This has been brought to you by BJJ Revolution Team, Atlas Jiu-Jitsu, Edward Anthony Fitness, Combat Skin, and It's a Revolution!